A patient presented to you with chest pain and dyspnea and this is the ECG of the same patient. What is the most likely diagnosis? Now if we see the ECG, there are varying amplitude of QRS complexes. One big, then small, one big, then small, right? So this happens whenever the heart is floating in the fluid around it, right? Or there may be fluid or maybe the blood. Now, the heart is swinging in the anteroposterior direction, whereas the electrodes are fixed. And that is why you get the alternating amplitudes of QRS, which is called as electrical alternance. Very, very typical of large pericardial effusion or may be found in cardiac tamponade. I hope this was helpful for you. Okay, bye-bye.